J -J -J, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again man once again with a very good topic you know the other day I said you know engineers developers uh, you know software engineers software developers and a whole bunch of other different titles out there front-end engineer you know freaking UI engineer to me to be honest with you guys it's all the same it's very blurry between the lines when it comes to all these titles right now I'm gonna go into this article because this article is pretty cool it talks about what's the difference between a developer and an engineer all right and they give a, a couple of good points you know they talk to employers they talk to engineers they talk to developers now I'm gonna be honest this is how I feel an engineer to my to me right for me to say somebody's an engineer like let's say I consider somebody who built something from completely scratch right and let's say somebody who creates a framework to me that's an engineer he engineers something all right now somebody that uses frameworks and uses uh, different libraries to me, that will be considered a developer, right? The moment you start building your own libraries, the moment you start understanding how things work, you know, and you start architecting your own programs, your own ideas, right? As a programmer, I will consider you a engineer, right? A developer is more somebody who pretty much uses the tools that he has and builds things with that all right somebody that let's say for example a, somebody who uses WordPress that's a WordPress developer right somebody who uses HTML CSS and JavaScript and builds websites that's a developer right somebody who comes in and creates the front-end framework to me that's an engineer you know I consider myself both at different times you know I've also created my own libraries I've created my own frameworks with you know with crystal Lang. I understand the whole stack I know how to build things from scratch right but most of my job consists of being a developer I'm not creating you know or recreating the wheel every single time as you guys might see in my videos when I do like uh, you know quick little coding videos when I'm just coding in my in my house just for fun like I'm constantly just like copy and pasting things that I already know to do because in reality I, I'm the type of person I don't like to waste time I don't like to uh, you know try to go in there and be like hey I'm gonna write everything down from scratch no it's like I already know what I need to do or what I need to develop. So then I just pretty much be like, okay, I need to center something, vertical align, copy this from here. I need to change like a placeholder. Uh, I don't know the, the syntax from the top of my head, copy and paste it. But I know all the things that I need to do, right? So I don't know. It's like, you know, when it comes to this, it's like, you know, it's like it's a 50-50 thing. You know what I mean? It's like, like I said, a software developer or a developer in general. It doesn't matter if software, it doesn't matter if you're tappy. It doesn't matter what it is. A developer uses the tools that are there for him to build things. All right. An engineer is somebody who builds things from scratch and basically makes waves with whatever he creates. I hope you guys understand that, right? Um, and like I said, I, I consider myself both at, at times, you know, it's like some companies might say, Hey, you're an engineer, but in reality, you know, uh, I don't really use the title like that, that much because most of my work has been just developing things. It hasn't really been engineering anything, you know, I've done it a couple of times. Like I had to do the, the try on for a company that I did, uh, last company I was working for, um, a couple of things out there. So it was pretty crazy, you know what I mean? So yeah, I was just talking about this this whole article 
hopefully i'm gonna put it on the description for you guys i'm gonna put it in the comments so you guys could check it out and you can see the links for this this article it's pretty cool is it's actually pretty legit i like the the things that it says like you see traditionally an engineer and no matter the stream of engineering engineering is a person who is competent by virtue of their fundamental education and training to apply scientific methods and interpretation to the analysis and solution of engineering problems all right that's what an engineer is for some people you know what i mean for me see like this it says a developer on the other hand tends to be more creative creatively minded and applying patterns and practices Learn through self-discovery on the job, reading books, blogs, and of courses. Focus on specific aspects of the development life cycle without fundamentals or scientific method and engineer principles. See, that's the thing. That's why I consider myself more of a developer. Like, you know, somebody that comes in and they have a, let's say, a computer science degree. They have a, a math and science degree. Like, those guys, they dig they've gone more deeper into how to build the software how does concurrency work how does this this and that me i've never really care about those things <laughs> you get what i'm saying like so i would definitely consider myself more of a developer you know than an engineer and it's like this question is always gonna be there this article is always gonna be there this topic is always going to be that like yo what's the difference between a developer and an engineer to me like i said it's very simple an engineer is somebody who basically creates things from scratch right creates things from scratch finds solutions through the education that that person already has right now a developer uses the tools that are in front of him to create things all right if you're not building tools if you're not creating things from scratch you're not an engineer you can't really be considered as an engineer by other engineers and that's just how it is now do you care about if other engineers <laughs> they look at you as an engineer that's another question you know what i mean like me i could care less like i don't need 30 nerds to validate me and be like you're a smart guy and give me a thumbs up like i could care less i'll be like hey i got money in my pocket you got money in your pocket great cool we both did our job you get what i'm saying like that's how i feel about it but yeah man you know and this goes back to that that whole thing where people were so pissed off at at chris sean and it's very it's a very touchy subject for some people because in reality, that's like, you know, I will be tight too myself. Like, let's say um, I'm an engineer, right? And I spent the last 10 years, you know, diving deep into, you know, ones and zeros and going to calculus seven. And like, you know, I'm learning all of this linear equations times three. And <laughs> like, you're going so deep into it, you know. And you spend your whole life, and then somebody else says, hey, I'm an engineer. You know, it's like, and then you start looking into the person. You're like, wait, you have an engineer or anything. You don't have the background. You don't have the education for that. So I understand when people get pissed off. But I feel like nowadays is very rare for people to be creating things from scratch. Because to be honest, this almost everything already has been created, right? Now it's all about making things a little bit faster than whatever was there. There's really nobody else creating anything from scratch. Like there's very few companies even creating, even the top companies don't even create things from scratch. What they do is they look at the competition, see what they created, and then they recreate it again. And then from there, they just make it a little bit faster, a little bit smoother, whatever, right? But that's just how it is. That's how the industry is right now. You know, and to break it down, like we all doing the same thing. We all freaking programming. We all uh, creating new things out here, but it's just the same difference. It's like, yo, one is building stuff from scratch. Another one is actually, you know, using the tools that's in front of them. You know what I mean? 
But yeah, man. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about this little topic today. I'll see you guys later. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. This is brought to you by codingphase.com, the website. Guys, go check it out, man. I'm building this new project right now for PHP. The project is going to be called Design Storm. This is going to be made with Laravel. Pretty much all you're going to do is you're going to do a search. It's going to do an API call to Behance.net. And then the same thing that I've been telling you guys for the past year where I say, hey, I want you guys to create five projects. So like, let's say if you wanted to search for e-commerce, right? You would do that API call e-commerce find a couple of designs that you like right and then like let's say i like this design this design i will save it into my own project so i will have like five six different designs that i will save to my project and be like okay this is my inspiration so now as a developer you're going to have you know a couple of projects saved for you on this web application so it's, it's legit. You're going to see once we start building in, you know, the people that are going to take this course is going to be legit because it's going to teach you how to, uh, you know, use user authentication, how to actually deal with databases, deal with migrations, deal with everything that Laravel has to offer is going to be in this project. All right, guys. So I'm going to see you guys later. Make sure you come to my website, codingphase.com. Guys, literally, when you go to my description, there's a couple of links there. There's links to Udemy if you want to use Udemy. If you just say, hey, Joe, I want to support your, your channel. I want to support your website right here, man. Get the all access pass, which gives you access to every single course, right? $10 a month, for guys, 50% off whenever you use my description, and you're going to be good, man. I'm telling you right now, I've got a lot of people telling me, hey, Joe, I got a job now. Thanks. You know, sending me messages because I, I opened this up. When did I open this website? I think like in August. We are in November now. So those people that came in and did those two months, two months and a half. Now they have jobs because they have real projects in in their portfolios. Like, you know, it's like that's my whole idea of this website creating real projects for you guys stuff that you can show to companies and be like hey this is something that you know these are the skills that you're i'm gonna be using with you guys so like pretty much hire me <laughs> all right guys so i'm gonna see you guys later i'm a little bit sick i'm sorry um we talk later okay guys take care bye